So welcome to our coverage here at the Ashenaim Stadium, home of Jamaica College. And uh, some interesting activities taking place so far in this first half. We haven't missed a lot. Just a, a couple of minutes uh, late. We had some technical difficulties here. A, a massive loss of power, in fact. But Ascot and Pembroke Hall are on the way here. Pembroke Hall in the yellow and blue actually arrived here late. Ascot in their purple and yellow. This, of course, is the curtain raiser ahead of Jamaica College against Excelsior a little bit later on this afternoon. Wherever you are, thank you so much for joining our coverage. My name is Donald Oliver. I'm with Leger Williams. And uh, seeing the opening few minutes that both teams are really trying to settle here. But I'm not sure if uh, there, are, I, there are expectations at a high level uh, for this opening game of the doubleheader here. Yeah, but I think both of these teams could do pretty well with getting more points on the board or in the case of Ascot getting points on the board generally it's going to be a corner here served up yeah Pembroke call with uh, an opportunity here for Jean Duku to send this one in. Kept alive, and it's well, the whistle goes. Offside flag was raised over on the far side, but that was almost too easy there. There's an attempt from distance from Shadeen Wallace. Yeah, I think this game could be a good opportunity for both teams to express themselves well. Both of these teams don't harbor, well, at least from the outside, great expectations for advancing from the group. So. I think this could be a huge opportunity for both teams. Keith Johnson, you see there, the man in charge at uh, Pembroke Hall.
So here's Ascot coming forward and uh, cleared by the Pembroke Hall defence. Corner kick coming up for Ascot here. Ascot who beat Bridgeport 1-0 in their opening group game. Here's the corner kick coming in. Yeah, the Pembroke Hall players will find it a little bit difficult. They actually arrived late and they were unable to warm up at the venue. Ascot starting this game on the front foot here. Foul called against Ascot. Pembroke called with a chance to get themselves up the pitch. Garrett Grant, player to watch for Pembroke Hall. Seam stationed right there at the edge of Ascot's penalty area. That seemed a dangerous chance for a minute, but Ascot repelling it at the last second. Prince Lewis, the player to watch for Ascot. Diminutive number six as another free kick swung in. And it was a Pembroke Hall head that, head that got to it, but nothing doing in the end. As they keep up the pressure. Yeah, it's the first time that they're actually applying pressure in this game and uh, now some relief for Ascot who they did start the game pretty strong did have a couple of opportunities as well
Asuka trying to get out of their own defensive third now. Pretty hot conditions here at the Aschenheim Stadium. Yeah, but there are some clouds overhead. Especially over those mountains that you can probably see in the back of your picture occasionally. And that's a, that's a good save in the end and here come Pembroke Hall again with a long punt well marshalled Going to be a throw in now for Pembroke Hall. Again, well marshaled by, by Ascot. And here they come on the transition, and they still go along, and that's certainly going to be the first yellow card of the proceedings and it is dangerous breakaway from Ascot and an, interve an intervention had to happen by hook or by crook and it certainly came by crook cynical cynical challenge with a challenge on uh, Facey who has had a, a couple of runs on the left hand side and has been afforded quite a bit of space as well free kick coming up for Ascot can they make up make use of the opportunity here Jordan Atkinson is the one that's placing it here. Has to contend with a, a two-man wall. And goalkeeper Jamal Spalding. Atkinson's effort is well over the top. Yeah, one of the better opportunities so far in this game. pretty good area for a right-footed player to whip that one in but always rising that effort they go long from this goal kick again well marshalled and here come Ascot again yeah before you could let fly the defender came charging in Atkinson's effort left a lot to be desired on that occasion.
dilly dallied on the ball a little, but uh, he's expected to. Oh no, he makes a similar mistake. Does Jamani Kodna, and here's the, the effort from Pembroke Hall. And it was good enterprising work, actually. Twice got the better of his defender and got into a shooting position, but wayward. Mentioned the heat earlier and the effect that it could have on the proceedings. Especially Pembroke Hall, who would have arrived at the venue late, not getting adequate warm up. Well, they are warming up now. They have looked a, a bit better as. Time continues to go in this first half. Grant trying to make his way inside. Deflected effort there and it's going to be a corner kick to Ascot. Or to Pembroke Hall rather. Yeah, their first of the contest. Certainly growing into the game, as you said, Donald. Committing quite a few bodies forward as well for this corner kick. Pembroke Hall yet to score a goal in the competition thus far. Two heavy defeats. Actually, they have scored, but on the hand of two heavy defeats. Ball sent inside the area, it's punched away. Palmer on that occasion with the delivery. Here is Palmer again. Or rather, Facey. Okay, coming up for Ascot. Yeah, certainly a few diminutive players on the pitch for both teams. A youthful look to the squads. Remember, you can download the Sportsmax app today from the Google Play or the App Store. Lots happening in the UEFA Champions League and the Europa League today as well. Ascot, ball over the top. That's a wonderful ball, you know, but couldn't quite control there. Griffiths looking to regain the opportunity, but he's lost it. Facey should get a corner. of corners on the other side but the delivery wasn't here's too a, good here's that another one, one is, that's not too good as well yeah much heavier than the ones on the other side but certainly too heavy it's actually going to be a water break now much need for the players most almost definitely. midway the first half yeah most definitely Wow, wow, wow. 
There have been a couple of chances from both teams, but nothing concrete so far. No goals to write home about either. This game, of course, a part of a double header. Zone F in the Manning Cup. Group leaders, Jamaica College will be taking on Excelsior High in the second of the double headers. Double header. Thirty-eight Manning Cup titles between those two teams. Eleven Walker Cups. really prestigious fixture we're looking forward to here at the Ashenheim Stadium but before that we have this Pembroke Hall versus Ascot game two teams looking to make a stamp in the group Codner with the header Ascot trying to win this one and they have and they are trying to come forward now oh, it's Pembroke Hall Look, looking to give as much as they have received in this first half they have received a lot by the way Parker earns a throw for his team there is with the captain's armband Devontae Parker Now Pembroke Hall is trying to just bang that one upfield, hoping for a runner. Nicely done. And the effort, not too bad, you know, from Romain Brown. He certainly hasn't looked shy about shooting from range so far in this contest. Second or third of those long pops has showed some good skill as well to create space to take those shots. Easily repelled by the Premier Call defense, and Ascot will have another opportunity here. They do look good going forward. Would he keep that one in play? Well, the flag has gone up against him, you know. Romain Brown caught in the trap. Yeah, it was always lingering in an outside position, Brown. But I certainly look the most dangerous player on the pitch so far for either team. Here's another chance. Ball lobbed inside. Brown was wait waiting for it as well as Raheem Richards. Put into touch for a throw.
Here they come again, Ascot. Not clear properly. This is surely a big chance, but good defending. Last ditch effort there. The clearance coming in from Rajon Duku. Corner kick coming up for Ascot. Ashawn face with the delivery. Again overcooked. Brown was trying to get a foot in the air and uh, Pembroke Hall doing enough for the time being. Nicely done by Facey, trying to get the ball inside and it was blocked well by DeMarco Palmer. But another corner kick for Ascot. And it's a left back who has come up to to take this one, Prince Lewis. Yeah, let's see what he can deliver. It's a driven one. It is. You get a second chance. Lewis to the byline. Good challenge again coming in from Palmer. But the pressure maintains. But I think that actually came in from Khalid Clark, the other the sliding challenge. Well, they were being cute about it. Brown sends it inside, not clear properly. Still an opportunity. And again, it's cleared from out of the six yard box. Corner kick was uh, cheekily done. And Pembroke Hall almost caught unaware. Now they are trying to clear their lines once more. Back with the captain Parker. I almost get the feeling that it's just a matter of time before Ascot gets on the score sheet. Facey. Facey drives it. <laughs> that was a top block, you know. Not sure if he knew a lot about it, but he was in the way. There's the ball lofted at the back post. The keeper goes chasing and then. Allowing that to go into touch for a goal kick. Prince Lewis again with the lofted effort inside the area. Yeah, now the better because the pressure was piling up. Pembroke Hall under some significant, significant pressure. As the first half ticks over 30 minutes. Still a long way to go in this contest. So much can happen. Here they come again. Prince Lewis on it. Gets a return ball. Should fire and does the keeper. Using his right foot to make the clearance. Yeah, that didn't come off well for... Young Brown. But here was the opportunity for Prince Lewis. Jamal Spalding doing enough in goal. Here they come again. It's Lewis. Goes to the turf. Free kick coming up for Ascot High. And the yellow card is out.
and is shown to Romero Sylvester. I believe that's the second yellow card that's shown so far this afternoon. Sylvester with a follow through there that was a bit naughty from him. And he's penalized because of it. But a free kick is coming up for Ascot High. Sean Scarlett is behind it. Romain Brown is also behind it. Brown has stepped away. Scarlett is there. So too Lewis now with his left foot. It is going to be Scarlett and... Uh, wide of the mark he was going on his own there And the other card is going to be shown to the Ascot High skipper. You know, some good work. Trying to relieve some pressure for his team. You're right, going on his own. Waiting for some company and eventually it was some opposition company who came and hacked him down. Now a free kick opportunity. See what they can serve up. Pembroke looking for something against the run of play here as they have this set piece. Here it comes, floated inside and straight into the hands of Marlon Colley. Lewis gets a return. That's some good work on the left, and he was tripped again. Free kick coming up, another one. He's found the turf on a couple of occasions, Prince Lewis. He's a willing runner, the left back for has got high yeah seems to be one of their main threats and has been one of their main threats so far in this contest and another interesting opportunity arrives for ascot high Jamal Spalding just making sure that the wall is set up properly. Ascot here with a chance. This one is sent inside the air. It was dangerous looking, you know. And it's going to be a goal kick. Let's see what happened here. The ball came in. Oh, that was a clear-cut opportunity, wasn't it, inside the box? 
Yeah, ducked out of the way. Ball just really hit him, hit him on the way through. But if he got his head up, it would have been a free header two yards from goal. Here they come again. Almost played through the middle. Picked up once again by Facey. Ball coming inside and too far in front of Richards. Opportunity here for Pembroke Hall. Mind just to get the shot off, you know, Antoy Grant. Was slipping as he took the shot. Actually found the target. Here's a chance now. Turning and shooting immediately. Raheem Richards, he had some space to work with. And he had runners as well. Decided against utilizing both options. Grant applying the pressure and he's through on goal and he only found the keeper there what a chance that was for Pembroke Hall yeah I think that might have been the clearest cut chance for them all first half that was a great chance for them to get their opening goal of the season not for the first time Ascot have been found a bit careless at the back and that was a huge save actually to keep this game level. Antoy Grant has been their instigator in chief. Pembroke Hall. At times he's been the only man up front fighting a losing battle, but he got away on that occasion. And Pembroke Hall's number 11 just couldn't convert. Massive chance for for him and for his team. Ascot, they have shown vulnerabilities at the back. And uh, yeah, they've conceded quite a few goals as well this, this season, Ascot High. And you can tell based on what we've seen so far that Pembroke Hall, they will have opportunities. Or well, it's just a matter if they will be able to take them. Yeah, there's Hugh Bingy Blair, former Waterhouse standout, regarded as one of the better midfielders in the Jamaica League's history. Also has three caps for the Jamaica national team. Now on the coaching staff. Now on the coaching staff at Pembroke Hall has had stints and the coaching staff of Marvelly, Hugh and then in the Jamaica Premier League as well. So certainly his impact is still being felt across the Jamaican footballing landscape. Well, what would Pembroke Hall do to have a player of his stature in their team? In the middle of the park especially, right? Yep. Get him, get him, get him. 
Here's Ascot again, trying to make their way forward. Atkinson. Oh, nicely done by Atkinson. Needs a forward pass. Sends it out wide. Lewis. Facey was on it a little bit too long. Amari Luke Davis there warming up for Pembroke Hall. May seem a little bit later on, but here is Atkinson. And uh, the deflection to get closer to goal. Lewis playing it inside now, and Atkinson looking for the dink inside. And he was in an outside position, Romain Brown. Not for the first time in this first half. No. Two minutes of stoppages to be played, by the way. We're about a, a quarter of the way through. Maybe the final opportunity for Ascot High to take the lead here in this first half. Ball sent inside. They are queuing up inside the box. Still kept alive and eventually gathered by Spalding. Not the best clearance from Spalding. Lewis. Wonderful ball inside to Brown, and he just couldn't control that, you know. Disappointing touch from him, especially with what we've seen. From him a little bit earlier, has a bit of quality. Here he is again. Atkinson. Trying to curl that one. Not enough curl on it. And uh, really and truly, that should be that for this first half. Both these teams have conceded a lot of goals in the Manic Cup competition this season so far. And maybe the final bit of opportunity here as Facey drove this one inside and Spalding again had to go down low to make the stop. They may have time to take this corner kick. Lewis delivering. And uh, this one is over the top again. Spalding coming out and uh, got a strong hand on it, but the ricochet took it away from goal, and that's it for the first stanza. And uh, we haven't seen a goal in this one, but there have been opportunities. Maybe the biggest of the game has actually gone in favor of. Pembroke Hall, right, yes, but yeah, yes, Ascotai definitely had more of the chances in that first half. But uh, 
neither team has converted. And uh, both teams would have a lot of, to talk about during this interval here. But after 45 minutes, Pembroke Hall and Ascot are goalless. Welcome back to the Ashenheim Stadium for the start of the second half. Pembroke Hall against Ascot High. And uh, just a few seconds into this second half. And Ascot, who had a lot of the possession in that opening 45 minutes. Pretty much starting the second half with the possession here and with an opportunity from this set piece. Jordan Atkinson again is the one behind it. Here he is firing this one and into the crowd. Still not clear properly Atkinson himself was trying to win it back. Yeah, there's a an infringement right in front of the referee. So, another free kick coming up for Ascot High. Starting the second half the same way they ended the first. Yeah, pretty much here's the opportunity. This one is well over the top. Also similar to how they ended the first half, a couple of wasted opportunities. The wind has really picked up here at the Ashenheim Stadium. There's a, a threat of rain. Recall trying their best to get out of their own half and running into some traffic there. Romero Sylvester Still going through their 
paces. It's Pembroke Hall team. Yeah, well, Mario Davis has been warming up since the first half, in fact. I suspect he may be the first change that's going to be made by Pembroke Hall. Well, that wasn't the best clearance at all. And uh, Face's effort deflected. And uh, well, did the, was he the one who touched it last? A goal kick has been awarded. Yeah, but another wasted opportunity, in my opinion, from Ascot. Really piling up the shots here. Approaching 20 at this moment. Ball sent over on that far side. Opportunity here and ooh, that didn't miss by much, you know. Yeah, really good effort on that occasion. Ascot coming closer and closer. That one was dipping and it was dipping, but just dipped a bit too late. Had Spalding really scrambling in that Pembroke Hall goal. I'll be really surprised if this actually ends at nil all. Because so many chances have been created by both teams. Ascot, of course, with the majority. But no conversion as yet. Good stepping up out of the back there from Duku. Facey winning that header. Brown still manages to get a hold of it. Lewis now trying to come forward, skips by one, goes by a second. Lewis looking for some runners here. Couldn't quite find his captain, Devontae Parker. And now he goes the other way. And the flag stays down. The keeper is off his line. And Grant, well, the flag actually goes up. Grant with another opportunity, but the flag going up. Missed it in the end as well, Grant. But I would love to see how close that was because he seemed onside to me. I thought he was onside, actually. By quite some distance also. But he did miss, end up missing the chance. I'm just going to assume that because he heard the whistle, he took his eye off the ball literally and figuratively mm. So, Omari Davis is getting ready to come on for Pembroke Hall. As uh, they also have lined up a free kick sent inside the area. And that wasn't the most convincing defensive header. Corner kick to Pembroke Hall.
Corner kick coming in. Headed away. Ball center field to Romain Brown. Brown trying to go long. Couldn't permeate the Pembroke Hall defense. They'll try again to their captain. This is Parker. Parker's ball inside. Repelled. Parker trying to win it and does. Service inside the area. Again put out of the box. And Ascot will try once more. Ball sent out wide. Lewis gets there. And uh, it's going to be a goal kick in the end. Lewis can't believe that he didn't win the call. Yeah, I think in that case he just overran it and tried to buy a free kick. We're going to see that change now for Pembroke Hall. Yeah, Leon Bennett is off for Omari Davis. Brown couldn't keep that one in play. No problems here for the Ascot defense on this occasion. Some Excelsior fans that Jenny interviewed at halftime here pretty early. And again, that Excelsior will be taking on Jamaica College in the second of a double header here at the Ashenheim Stadium. Ascot getting some reinforcements, reinforcements ready as well. throw in and uh, couldn't quite get that under his spell Pembroke call with it now through Wallace. Wallace was trying to find Grant. Griffiths back there. Ellington with the ball over the top. Oh, this is a big chance, you know, challenge coming in. Manus manages to get the ball. Davis on it. Davis sends it inside. And the clearance made by Parker. Just managed to get a, a foot in there, Richards. 
late challenge on Richards, but he brushes the challenge aside. Ball over the top, but the keeper handles that one easily. But they have to do some more defending. Pembroke Hall, Atkinson forward now. That's a nice turn, looking for some space. And then he was trying to supply Antonio Griffiths, who wanted a better ball there, too far in front of him. And it's going to be a goal kick once again to Pembroke Hall. Danger man remain brown. Of us got needing some assistance. Certainly looks in a great deal of pain. He's limping off. Not something that Ascot would like to see. Hopefully he'll be okay to continue. Atkinson getting a foot in there. And now here's Facey. Good work from Facey. Ball across the area that's put behind by Ellington. come inside the area Facey sends it back outside good work flow to deliver inside headed away not cleared properly though opportunity goal finally for Ascot High some good work applying the pressure and the Sean Facey Getting the goal in the end. They have been unrelenting in the second half. And they get a deserved lead here. Yeah, they really have been the dominant force for much of this game. They've taken so many shots but struggled to get them on target. And test Jamal Spalding. And they finally have done so. And it's ended up in the back of the net. And it must be said, this is a really deserved lead for Ascot. And could they be heading to their second victory of this group stage? Well, Pembroke Hall will be hoping to change all that. Flag goes up for offside. Just a reminder for you to download the Sportsmax app today from the Google Play or the App Store. Keep in touch with the uh, a lot of the sporting happenings all across the world. A lot of football in particular, including the UEFA Champions League and the Europa League.
I'm sure Leger Williams has one eye and one ear in Italy. Supporting his beloved Arsenal. Which you can also watch on the Sportsmax app. Yeah, you can easily pull double duty. Watch this game on Sportsmax 2 and use the app to watch another game. Here's an opportunity. And uh, an effort there coming in from uh, Pembroke's, Pembroke Hall's number 10, Sylvester. Mara Sylvester here. His chance being blocked. And the corner kick is coming up for Pembroke Hall. Can they open their account here? There's the ball inside. An effort from way out from Ellington. Ambitious it was. Well, the referee has come across to this near side and has shown a yellow card, I believe, to Young Green. That was a strong challenge that came in. Ball over the top. Flag goes up, offside call against Antonio Griffiths. Ascot have been called outside a number of times in this contest always threatening that last line of Pembroke Hall. School is out for the day. Well, for some of the students, or most of them, here at Jamaica College. There's going to be a, another cooling break for the players to refresh themselves. Ascot, in the meantime, they are lining up to make two changes. But they have the advantage in this game. Yeah, they'll be looking to hold on. Got a win in their first game versus Bridgeport. In that all Portmore affair. Before... Uh, as you can see, a humbling versus Jamaica College in their next game. Looking to use this game to get back on track. 
and so far they're definitely doing that. So the difference maker in this one happened in the second half and uh, Sean Facey supplying the finish there. Jamal Spalding had a hand on it but the hand wasn't strong enough and uh, Facey's goal. The difference between the teams so far in this one. He has been instrumental in this game. Ascot's number 19 has provided opportunities for himself along the left wing as we take a look at the changes. Main Romain Brown, who started out pretty strongly in the first half for Ascot, he's taken out. And Caris Mitchell replaces him. We did see that he was limping though a few minutes ago, so it may be just a cautionary measure. Antonio Griffiths who has been relatively silent. He did have a couple of opportunities in the second half. And uh, he's now off. And Ellis comes on to replace him. Whistle on the play. Well, referee tells him to get up. This one played through. Facey will get there. No. Spalding came out just in time. Left his line a little bit late, but he got there ahead of Facey in the end. I think both teams' keepers have been relatively proactive when leaving their line. Well, here's a chance, and this one is... Tame. Yeah. Pretty much. Didn't have a lot of power in it. Had options left and right as well, which he didn't take. It was Richards again, wasn't it? Yeah, Richards. And uh, just couldn't provide the power necessary to provide problems for Spalding. Omari Davis couldn't quite handling, couldn't quite handle that touch. Just 18 minutes remaining now in this one. Ascot still holding on to their 1-0 lead. Pembroke Hall punting that one long. They haven't been convincing at the back, you know. Ascot. At times when the ball has gone aerial, they do look a little bit vulnerable. Pembroke Hall, though, they haven't been able to capitalize. Here's the latest example.
Romero Sylvester getting some treatment. He has the most comfortable seat in the house. Not quite a bird's eye view, but uh, still high enough to see everything. JC support continues to make its way inside the venue. I suspect it's going to be jam packed a little bit later on as Excelsior comes to town. Let me just clarify Excelsior, they are from town as well. You get, you get the drift. Yeah, they could have walked here. They, they could have. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the warm-up sorted. <laughs> but they do come to the home of Jamaica College here. And uh, they do come with some support as well. But let's see if all will be able to, to fit inside the Ashenheim Stadium. <laughs> Prince Lewis has had a decent game for Ascot High. Pebrocall looking for parity here. They'll have to try again. This is Lewis now. That run was a little bit too predictable. And there we are about the Excelsior High support. Some of them already here. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually came with the team bus. Ball played through. The keeper is off his line. played through the middle but uh, on that occasion Pembroke called they were alert at did, the back did well to play out of pressure as well no chances taken 
by Ascot as they get that one clear as they prepare to make another change. Kimani Smith is coming on. Raheem Ray comes off. He's had, he's had a relatively quiet game, actually. Gets kudos from the coach. So a free kick is coming up. But uh, Pembroke Hall will be making more changes. Khalil Clark has come off. Deshaun Winter comes on. And one more change will be made. DeMarco Palmer comes on. Jaden Young is on. No problems during goal for Marlon Colley. And this one is sent to the edge of the box and the header. Well, the collection was spilled, but he recovered in time, did Kali. Lewis. Couldn't find Facey. Around seven and a half minutes to go, plus stoppages in this one. Pembroke Hall looking to score their first goal of the season and try and at least take a point out of this one. Ascot not making it easy as they try to move to six points in the group. What would be their second 1 0 win if results were to stay the same? Beat Bridgeport 1 0 on the opening match week.
They'll keep trying to break their duck. Pepper call. Kept it in play, and uh, yeah, in the end, it's a goal kick. It's time to take a look at the sports max at moment of the game. Just the one goal in it, and this was the goal. Lewis with the ball inside, not clear properly, and then <laughs> face came storming in, you know. He moved quicker than the eventual kick, but it was enough to beat Spalding. What a hand on it. Couldn't keep it out. That was the difference. The sports max at moment of the game. Ascot winning it back in a dangerous area. Facey laying it inside. Oh, that's a good block, you know. A real strong block it was from Ellington. And that was some really good defending there. Lewis again with a long ball upfield. Miguel Ellis couldn't quite get it under his spell. Still pushing this Pembroke Hall team. And here they are. Can they get something out of this? Trying to make his way through Atkinson. Here's the captain now, Parker. Storming forward. And uh, poor effort in the end from Devante Parker. After a promising foray. Second sticking away for Pembroke Hall to try and get back in this contest. I was thinking of a shot, manages to get one off. Rico Charrington. Here's Facey again. Oh, 
Yeah, run into a wall there. Free kick awarded. Ellington was in the way. He hasn't had a bad game. Actually, he's had a, a very good game, Dwayne Ellington. Definitely one of the standout players for Pembroke Hall. Especially from a defensive standpoint. In the meantime, Ascot could try to wrap it up here. But it is some way out. And this one is handled well by Pembroke Hall. And they tried to break here, but unsuccessful. About that time where we crown an MVP in this one. And I think especially seeing that Ascot will be getting their second clean sheet. Not that they've been tested a great deal, especially in the second half, but I think I would actually give it to one of their defenders, this one on the ball here as, well, a foul is called now, but. <laughs> You're talking about Prince Lewis? Yeah, I think the, the, the left back Prince Lewis has mm -hmm. been quite enterprising, had a hand in creating their goal as well. So I think he has been the standout performer. And I think our producers have done pretty well seeing that they gave him player to watch. Well, we watched him and we took note. Another change is being made. Raheem Richards, who had a couple of opportunities. He's been taken off. Joey Crooks comes on to replace him. Ball coming inside the area that's headed away. An opportunity, charge down, and uh, the keeper waited on his defender to try and clear, but Codner was calling him all the way. Holly well, eventually got there. He was Codner shielding it, wanting Collie to make his way out. Mitchell wins it. Couldn't find a teammate though. Smith sends it out wide. There's a man of the moment and man of the match so far. Laying it across on a platter. That should have been two. The flag went up for offside though. How did they manage to be in an offside position? They were clear. Well, he's been a handful, Prince Lewis. Not a lot of time remaining. In fact, by our watch unofficially. Stoppage time is complete, but the referee adding a little bit more time. Is it enough? Pembroke called a, well, I think he was contemplating awarding the free kick, but in the end it goes the other way, and uh, Facey won't be able to keep that one in. Ball sent long. 
And here's an opportunity. Well, that almost slipped through, but another chance here. And no issues there for Jamal Spalding. And we continue here at the Ashnaim Stadium, free kick. Will that be kept in play? It will. Ball sent inside the area at the back post. And uh, Spalding eventually collects. We were promised two minutes stoppage time. Referee appears to be enjoying this game. This one poked forward and it's sent out wide for Facey to chase. He's going to keep it before it crosses the line. They really want a second goal, it seems. Ascot high. Ball sent inside the area over the head of Caris Mitchell. Well, finally, the referee has blown this game off. Ascot with a 1-0 win over Pembroke Hall. And it's that man in your picture, O'Shawn Facey, with the de decisive moment in the second half. Getting by Jamal Spaulding. And Ascot picking up their second win of the campaign against a, a Pembroke Hall team that had their chances in this one, but just couldn't convert or capitalize on the limited efforts that they had on goal. It was the battle of the unfancied, and in the end, Ascot High walk away with all three points. 1-0, the final score. who really applied most of the pressure in this game. Wave after wave of chance after chance. This was in the first half when they couldn't get the better of their opposition. That was a really good chance as well to take the lead. And I think this was the best chance for Pembroke Hall in this one. Really good goalkeeping, however. Ascot again kept on flying forward. Second half, they started to assert their dominance even more. Kept on flying forward. Some good efforts there, testing Pembroke Hall and their resolve. But eventually the goal would come. Swung in, not cleared well. And the danger man, again, whipping this one in at the back post. Again, not cleared well enough. It was an awkward finish, but an effective one. And that's the goal that gave Ascot their second win in this season's Manning Cup. Their second 1-0 win, as a matter of fact. And they're on to six points in this group. That's all she wrote in this one. That was the KFC match highlights. And courtesy of Sportsmax, we have some statistics for you as well. Ascot with so many shots, 25 of them, five on target, and one of those on target was pivotal. Nine fouls in the game, four yellow cards. Ascot also dominating possession. There's no doubt that they were certainly the dominating force in this game and definitely deserved the win. They got it. And Jene, she's standing by with the man of the match. Let's hear what he has to say. Congratulations, Prince Louis. You know the name Prince usually comes with great awards, and today you've got the man of the match. How are you feeling? I feel very great about the man of the match because it's my second Manning Cup, and I learned more. 
Well, you're all bright smiles. I realize that when the goal scored, everybody was dancing. So we have footballers and dancers. Are you one of them? No, no. I, I'm not a dancer. I'm the, yes, I'm team score goal. I don't celebrate. Okay, well, you did an excellent job on the pitch today. Do you think that Ascot High in there in the next match can come out victorious again? Yes, we will come victorious again. We are going to work very hard in training for the next match. Well, all the best and congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Now we welcome the head coach of Pembroke Hall High. Well, we have coach, the coach from Ascot High. Coach, you did mention before the match that your boys didn't take the toll of their last match. They came out successful today. How are you feeling? Well, and, um, to win any game you know, is a tremendous feeling and we just want to give uh, the most uh, the, the, the glory and you know, just give thanks for the win. Well, I got a chance to take a look at your bench and your boys look relatively, relatively young in age. How has it been to mould such a young crop of boys? Well, we've been doing it from last year, you know, so you know, it's in you know, the DNA, we just do what to do best and these guys are, they, they, as we say, they, they exceed our expectations you know, from even before the competition starts. Coach, you seem a lot more confident than before the match, you know. Chest yeah. high, hands on your hips. You do face excels in your next match. Is there anything that you believe that your boys need to work on for that match? Well, there's a lot of things. We're always going to the drawing board. And as we say, um, it's, it's, it's work in progress. And we just take it one game at a time. Okay, thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Coach, you and your staff seem pretty animated on the bench. Is there something, is there something that you wanted to teach the boys that they weren't grasping? Uh, <laughs> well, we have to do a day-to-day -day coaching. So when you see we're out there, we have to keep them energized and try to push them a little, a little more. So, yeah. Well, I noticed you guys were a little bit late for today's match. Do you think that the late arrival would have affected just the pre-match logistics for your boys? No, not really, you know. The thing is, last week we get nine, and this week we get one, so it's a big improvement, you know. Well, you do speak about conceding goals, which means that your season kind of started after a rough start. Do you, do you view it as that, or do you think that there is still room for improvement for Pembroke Hall? All right, nine goals last week. And this tonight, today is one, so um, we are improved. So we we'll, we we'll come together and move as a team. Okay, thank you, coach. Yeah, man. So, Ascot coming away with the win, one nil. The final score over Pembroke Hall. They have picked up their second win of the campaign. We're standing by. Up next, we'll provide to you Jamaica College against Excelsior High. Stay with us. Yo, Issa, my schoolboy football look this season. People am ready, you know. All right, then, he go, man in go. Only for your shield, you make me link up. See what the champions got, Ben Francis. Walk a cup with Pima win the championship this season. Yo, Issa, for what I for school, I got finish the league and beat now. Which you that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people. Yo, Issa, when the fans are roll out all boat, be a flank for a vehicle. Looking at the crowd, but loan a support us from school and community too. People nothing at the stand, some are listening to prayer, they must have a watch it on TV too. Country and town, you know, if you want reason. Issa, school boy football, good job, look one, look all. Which team are the best on the girl, they the best on the fire team, beat your chest. Issa, school boy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show. Yo, Issa, that, that competition I never have a nice, so people 